Country chic is one of the biggest trends in the wedding industry. In Hollywood, it means adding some homestyle touches like mason jars and twigs to your outdoor wedding at a multi-million dollar state. But here in central Pennsylvania, country chic is the real deal. Coming right up on Dream Weddings. I'm Martin Cajas, the host of Dream Weddings, and I also run the House of Clarendon, a source for European style wedding cakes. I love weddings. I especially love how every wedding is unique and tells the story of a couple's relationship. It's wonderful to be part of it all. Today's couple, Kelly and Jeff Picchioni, spend a lot of time outside. They work together here on a tree farm owned by Kelly and her dad. I want to hear about your love story and how you guys met. Jeff and I met, he came into the shop, he was actually working for another landscaper at the time. And I thought he was really cute and he was very, very quiet, wouldn't say anything. Now he says that was his MO of how to lure me in just to play the shy guy. Um, so we just were friends for, what, a year or so? Yeah, a yeah. year, yeah. And then we just started talking again and we went out once or twice and pretty much together every day after that. So you guys were working in a way together. Yeah, he his boss would get a lot of material off of the nursery and I'd see him, he'd come down and pick up trees and there's one load in particular, it was really, really big trees and he had to act all Mr. Macho and try to load him around and I think he wound up hurting himself. We don't need a machine, I can yeah. I can get him. And I can do it myself, Kelly's watching me. Yeah. I'll be Kelly's the watching me, so <laughs> I'll be the machine and yeah. went badly. But it was cute, I liked the effort. Yeah. How did you propose, Jeff? I came up with some store and I got her out to the farm and there's this two acre lot out there that we have, a nice wooded lot that we plan to build a house on one day. And I, we were just walking around and I kind of made her pick out her own spot because I knew she had a favorite spot in the woods there. I wasn't sure where it was and I was like, well, I guess this is the perfect spot. And she just kind of looked at me and I got down on one knee and Kelly Aaron Geiser, will you marry me? Mm -hmm. And she started laughing, she thought I was kidding. Because <laughs> he would practice, he'd have practice yes. rounds in the house of my, saying the words, because it was so much to yeah. actually get them And the out. ring got stuck in my cargo pocket, yeah. and I couldn't get it out, so she really thought I was kidding. What was going through your mind? And I was like, he's gonna do it now. I'm in my dirty work clothes, <laughs> not a lick of makeup on, and he's gonna propose to me now. Doesn't matter. It's it's okay, I just want to marry him, so I was happy. This is a couple that really lives country chic. When we return, we'll see how they bring the country to their wedding planning. How are the preparations for the wedding? It's a little crazy and hectic, but uh, I'm doing a lot of it myself, so uh, my bridesmaids have been a big help, and. Jeff has contributed where needed, so I think he's a little bit more into it than what he might let others <laughs> believe. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. Normally the first thing on planning a wedding is the venue. Right. How did you find your venue? I was actually doing a wedding consultation for the flower shop and we were just going over the site and it just sounded really, really pretty and it's pretty much exactly what we wanted but almost even better because the coverage is there with the, the pavilion. Um, so it's, it's just a big lake. So the ceremony is going to be close to the lake. Mm -hmm. Are you utilizing the lake at all? Yeah, yeah we're, uh, us guys, we're going to get a couple canoes and we're going to actually canoe into the wedding. We actually have horse-drawn wagons that we use at the Christmas trees at the Cut Your Own. So they're going to bring all of the girls in on the, the horse-drawn wagons. And then during cocktail hour, they'll give rides around the lake. Wow, you do love nature. Mm -hmm. We just like to be outside and... Yeah. That's gonna be really pretty. They are pretty coming, you guys. I mean, who does that? <laughs> That's a grand entrance. Yeah. yeah. Every bride has a theme, mm -hmm. obviously, and I can see that you love the country and the trees and nature. How are you bringing that to your wedding? Our table names, they're gonna be each named after a tree. We have a unity tree instead of a unity candle. We're gonna take a, one of the trees from the nursery, a sapling, and we're gonna take it out, provide some dirt from our house, and our parents will provide some from their houses, and then we'll unite them together into one pot and plant the tree, and then plant it on our house one day. And Just to kind of grow. symbolize where we came from, and you know, with the, the dirt symbolizing the roots of our foundation, and then 
yeah. just growing together. So that's that's beautiful. And the roots, literally. Um, and then our centerpieces, we have a burlap runner that's going to go down the center of the tables. My aisle runner is going to be burlap. So we're just going to do little hints here and there. What are some of the challenges that you're having, you know, in a remote place? Just finding the vendors, you know, that will be able to handle it. Cause we're bringing everything in because it's just mm -hmm. a. It's an empty pavilion and that's it. So we've been working with Dave Ruppert with Wishes through Boscovs. Amazing. He's, he's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I have a new obsession right now with this country. I know it's not a barn, but the country, you know, shabby chic look. And obviously it's very rustic in there. So David, tell me what you're doing. Well, we'll be providing, first of all, all of the furniture for the wedding. So we'll be doing all of the tables and chairs, as well as all of the linens. Uh, Kelly's chosen a color palette. Here we're doing a lot of ivory and a chocolate brown. Again, to sort of convey that very rustic sort of feel. But to that rustic feel, we're actually going to add sort of a romantic elegance and using some sheer fabric and ivory that will create um, a ceiling treatment which will suspend over the dance floor and sort of soften the space as well without, again, covering the rustic feel of the, um, the lodge. One thing that we're really going to do, to, again, to add that elegance is provide a chandelier that'll hang over Kelly and Jeff's table as a nice little touch for the event. We're also going to do some lighting. We'll do some color up lighting, which, again, is just sort of going to bring the, the area to life and create a very warm atmosphere. Having Kelly's direction here and sort of vision certainly certainly is, is very helpful. And I was so impressed with all the little details that you're doing. And the first thing that your guests are going to get is what? An invitation. An invitation. So I was extremely impressed with this amazing invitation that I have never, ever seen. Yeah. Please describe. I actually um, got fabric at a local, local fabric store and sent it to the printer with our design. We wanted to incorporate a tree but not have it over the, you know, in your face. Mm -hmm. um, and then we cut them. My bridesmaids helped me cut all of them. We ironed them and sent them to the printer. And when we got them back, my grandmother actually sewed all of them. So it was very time consuming, but I think it was definitely worth the effort. And then our response cards, just to kind of tie in the tree theme, we have, um, instead of just saying yes or no, we have yes, spruced up, ready to party, or no, we'll be pining to be there. So just to add in the tree. Wow. He calls me a tree nerd. Um, <laughs> so that was my little tree nerdiness put in there. So during the cocktail hour, mm -hmm. what do you have planned for them? Well, Kelly and Jeff are big Penn State fans, so they really wanted to sort of have the cocktail hour sort of be a fun time and sort of a tribute to Penn State. So there we'll change the colors a little bit, and we're going to do it a little bit more picnic style and do a blue and white gingham check linen for the tables. So it's more like a tailgate party. And then we have a little Penn State football decor to go around. So not over the top, but just enough so people know that they're at a Penn State tailgate. Wimmelsdorf Beverage is providing a, a beer trailer which will have taps coming out the side mm -hmm. and the uh, guests can go up and choose their own whatever beer they like. And our signature drink is Captain and Coke, Captain and so Coke. <laughs> we found, did some research and found a way to get the mixtures right and they're going to pre-mix them and pressurize them and it should come out of tap and hopefully it works. One of the things is because the lodge is right up against the lake, mm -hmm. They don't really like people to be parking there because it really takes away from the whole feel of the place. We have a lower parking lot that will actually have a shuttle bring people up. Are you saying like a regular bus, a it's, school it's bus? It's a school or bus. You're using yeah. a school bus? Yeah. That's It'll cool. be like going to camp. Yeah. Because right? of course the venue was originally a Boy Scout camp. A Boy Scout camp. camp. My dad used to camp there, my uncle and things like that. Wow, who knew that when your father was camping there, since he was very little, that his own daughter was going to get married in there? Yeah, it's pretty neat. Really neat. All these family connections. This is one country chic wedding that feels very authentic. When we return, all the final details come together. Kelly was a very busy bride. We visited her at her shop a few days before the wedding. This is the business that my father and I own together. 
I'm the third generation and Jeff actually works with us also here. Uh, we, we do a lot of different things with the wholesale nursery and Christmas trees and landscaping. But you obviously do weddings as well. I do weddings, yeah. About That's, how many approximately? Um, eight to 12 a year is my average. Uh, I try to schedule them around the non-busy times yeah. of the nursery so I can focus solely on, on the bride for that week. For you though, as your own florist, for it your own wedding. It was really hard. Yeah. It was really hard. I didn't want to do something that I've done before because I've done some pretty amazing things for girls. Um, but I didn't want to duplicate their wedding. I wanted to create all of my own. I hear that they just arrived recently? Yes, they just got in this morning. I love when flowers come into my shop, but today it was just a whole other feel of them coming in for me for my own wedding. Teach me about the flowers. I have a lot of things. It was in, in trying to decide what I wanted to do and with the rustic elegance, I really wanted to keep things neutral um, and almost timeless. So I really didn't want to do a whole lot with tons of color. So I stuck to pretty basic white and green color palette. Um, but I picked a couple fun things out, um, like ranunculus. This is ranunculus, which are just, oh. I love them. So they're just a little bit of a whimsy feel to them. And the gooseneck lisamakia, they just add a little bit more of an organic feel and almost that wildflower. Texture. Texture, mm -hmm. And then for the fun, I have, uh, my girls are wearing blue dresses. So I picked some of these thistle. Wait, this which, is real? This is real. Most people would consider this to be a weed. Um, this, so most people want to try to get rid of this stuff, but I just think they're so cool. And it just adds a lot of funkiness to things. You're very unique, Kelly. <laughs> That's so cool. What other flowers do you have in there? I have some Lysianthus, which is a great pure white flower. Also, oh, this is so delicate. Good feel. Yeah, just a fluttery, I like to use that almost more so than the, the average rose because it just opens up so beautifully. I see a lot of bells of Ireland. Yes, you I have, have some bells of Ireland. Lots of hydrangeas and I have some green roses. And and because we're coming into fall, I, uh, I picked the dahlias. So these are just great. I love them. How are you handling this logistically? I mean, you're running your own shop, I but am. you're getting married as well. Do you have help? I do. I have one of my best friends from college. She helps me every time I have weddings. So she's worked with me pretty much for the past five, six years now. So she knows how I like things <laughs> <laughs> and how I don't like things, which is probably more important. With so much effort going into the venue, I almost forgot to ask Kelly about the dresses. We, I chose blue dresses for the girls to wear. You have eight? Of Eight, them. Yes. So are they wearing all the same style? They're all different. Each girl was able to pick which one that they wanted. Um, so some of them, they're all short. So it was something that I wanted them to really pick out. Something that they would be comfortable in, something that they really could wear again. So what about your dress? I actually bought my dress before we were engaged. Um, <laughs> So I did ask him if I would be able to wear it in the next two years, <laughs> and he said yes. So I actually bought it online without even trying it on, uh, but it came in in a local seamstress, did all the, the work for me and fitted some things a little differently and changed a couple things, but I love it. What about the mother of the bride and groom? Yeah, his mom, she was, she definitely liked to shop for her wedding dress. Yeah, I think she went through five wedding yeah. dresses until she mm -hmm. finally picked one. Yep, and she wound up with at Coco Couture, which oh. was, she should have went there Amazing. from the start. Yeah, yeah, they were fantastic with her. And everyone looked great. It was that perfect blend of casual sophistication that we saw everywhere else at the wedding. So what are you looking forward to the most? I'm really just looking forward to Be being married. married. At the end of the day. <laughs> yep, all of these details are really, really fun and it's what makes the day extra special, but we just didn't want to lose sight of what the day is really about, so we just walk away married. <laughs> Coming right up, Callie and Jeff's Country Chic Wedding. And now for something really special. Lancaster County Motors and Dream Weddings are giving away a new Kia Soul. Just stop into any Lancaster County Motors location to enter. And you don't have to be planning a dream wedding to win. Anyone at least 18 years of age is eligible. Learn more at dreamweddingspa.com. Wedding day preparations started early. While Kelly and her bridesmaids got ready at the nearby hotel, 
Jeff and his groomsmen hang out at the lake and enjoy the sunshine. And since no country wedding is complete without iced tea, lemonade, and ice cream, Turkey Hill brought a truckload over for Kelly and Jeff's dream wedding. Yes, well our bride is a huge fan of Turkey Hill iced tea and ice cream, so we decided to offer them several flavors of iced tea and several cups of ice cream flavors for their wedding today. Uh, especially with this hot weather right now, people are going to love definitely the tea and the ice cream. I'm a huge fan of ice cream. I eat a whole jug. Me too, sometimes, yeah. David Rappert arrived to make sure all the final touches that he and Kelly had planned were in place. Dream Weddings brought in Dean Swartz to paint the entire scene for Kelly and Jeff to remember their day. This is going to be something very special that we're going to be presenting our bride. Yes. So she's not aware of this at all at all, so we're going to present this afterwards. Yes. Tell me exactly what you do. Uh, I do pastel drawings. Um, I love to do more nature scenes, so this is really cool to be here and, and drawing this. I'm sure she's going to be surprised, and I'm impressed already by this beautiful <laughs> art piece. It's a long way to go. Yeah, make sure you add me somewhere in there, like okay. here. Yeah, I will. I'll be happy. I will. Before the guests arrived, the bridal party and family got together for first looks and photos. Martin Miller took advantage of that beautiful location to capture great moments with the bridal party. You are amazing. I saw you jumping from one place to another to another to another. You are like Superman photographer. A little bit of everywhere. Anticipate through a lot of experience, anticipate where to be, when to be, you know, to get the, the best for the bride and groom. When you come to an environment like this, you basically have to very quickly be able to scope out the lighting and the beautiful backgrounds and things like that. And a location like this is very easy to do that. There's a beautiful pond, a beautiful uh, pavilion, and a great couple. All right, cool. The school bus made a great shuttle. Though, for some reason, climbing a board made me feel like I was eight years old. Martine, I don't want any business out of you. All the guests enjoyed that beautiful setting and fun country touches. The ceremony was just stunning. Jeff's unconventional canoe ride to the altar was a big hit. And Kelly looked like a country chic Cinderella arriving in her carriage. The tailgate party was lots of fun. Kelly had stencil mason jar mugs made for all the guests, which were perfect for filling with Captain and Co. Cheers, Jeff and Kelly. The food was terrific. We met with Steve Bonner from Boscov's Catering earlier in the week to see what he had in store for Jeff and Kelly's guests. So tell me the logistics about this, because you have like four or five huge kitchens in here. You're not going to be cooking over there. Well, what we do is we prepare all the food here. So between our two kitchens, uh, we prepare all of the, the meats, the seafood. So we do, we do cook up some of the stuff there. All the pasta is part cooked. And we're setting up three different areas where you have chefs standing behind there, actually creating pastas with their choice of vegetables, pesto sauces, marinara sauces, alfredo sauces, whatever they want in it. It's a quick saute, a quick fix, and the guests can more or less choose whatever they want to eat. So each, each meal only takes about a minute and a half uh, to prepare. And wow. by being set up in three different areas, we can accommodate the larger groups. It's a nice, fresh approach to a simple buffet. Um, it's very reasonably priced. Um, and you're offering a lot of variety for folks in order to accommodate people's tastes. After dinner, we checked in with artist Dean Swartz to see his progress on the painting. Look at this. It literally looks like the actual wedding that we just did a couple minutes ago. Well, I started putting in the sky and the trees, put in the building, and then started in on the grass and everything and waited for the people 
to arrive. I actually got the bride and groom on the dock there. And There's Kelly and Jeff. Starting to put in the water now, and I'll go back and fill in with more people. Beautiful. Thank you. I'll let you finish then. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. The couple chose to have a band and a DJ to provide the evening's entertainment. Before long, I had to go behind the scenes to add the final touches to the cake. Kelly loves seeing her simple twig design come to life. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at all that. You want a texture? I'll give you texture. You are awesome. No, it was your idea, I just brought it to life. I surprised her with an extra layer. Special draping provided by Wishes created the perfect home for the cake inside the pavilion. How are you feeling at this moment? Really good. Um, I'm just really happy. I mean, the, the sun came out, as you're saying, our vows after a full week of rain. I mean, this has just been incredible. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So this person that was literally over there yes, the whole all. time, he was actually painting your actual wedding. Oh, my God. So this is what he did for you. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> the boats and everything. That is beautiful. This is Lee Schwartz. Thank you so yes. much. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, there you guys go. Congratulations Thank you. and happy dream night in here. Go and have fun in there. Okay. Okay. Color me every shade of happy. Cause it's a good day and it's good to be with you. The sun is shining where we're walking. Cause it's a good day and it's good to be with you Oh, I never knew that it could be this way Oh, when we're together everything will be okay No clouds, no rainy days Not a smile from my face I don't care about the weather Just as long as we Together you can color me every shade of happy Cause it's a good day and it's good to be with you It's a good day and it's good to be with you What a fabulous country wedding. Thank you Jeff and Kelly for sharing your dream wedding with us. You can learn more about this wedding and the professionals that helped Kelly create it all on our website, dreamweddingspa.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. See you next time. Ready? Okay. Is that okay with a dog in the background? Cool? Whatever, okay. <laughs> when we return... When we return, coming right up, coming right up. <coughs> oh, okay. See you next time. Cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs>